Hi. Today I'll be showing you how to configure DNS server on Windows 2K8. So generally uh, we use the DNS server I mean to to resolve the, the, the name into IP or IP into name. So it means that when you want to access to a computer or any web server for example let's take the example of the the Google website for example you want to access to google.com so you type in the address bar www.google.com so you don't need to remember the IP address of that server but with the help of the DNS the, the name that you type in the address bar will be sent to the DNS server and that name will be resolved to find the appropriate IP and to get your connection to it so for this demo we'll be using two Windows 2K8 server, one for my web server and the second one for my DNS. So I've choose one web server uh, with the uh, orange background color to make the difference, and this one will be used for my DNS server. So we'll be starting by assigning a static IP address. So we'll use uh, ncpa.cpl and here go to property TCP IP4 so we'll be working on uh, the class A IP address private IP 10.0.0.1 for my DNS basic subnet mask and the default gateway you can leave it blank since we don't require any uh, connection to internet is a local uh, network and the preferred DNS server since our local machine is also uh, our DNS server we'll use the same IP for the preferred DNS server so we'll be using 10.0.0.1 that's all and then now our IP has been assigned we can install now the role go into server manager click on role add role click on next and then here you you have to select the DNS server just tick in the option box click on next uh, introduction to DNS server it will describe uh, the, the use of the DNS server and what need to be the uh, the install the DNS server so we'll just install the role and it doesn't take too much time now the installation has succeeded we can close this window as you can see here uh, nothing has been configured so, we, so let's go to start run DNS MGMT T dot MSC. Here you will access to the DNS manager. Here you can configure uh, the forward lookup zone or reverse lookup zone. But since we don't have the IP address of the web server, this step we have to skip it for a moment. So let's come here into the web server. So for the web server is not our actual tutorial but we need it in order to explain the, the, the working of the DNS server. So let's start the server manager here we'll install the web server role click on role and then okay, it takes it take a while to collect the data you click on add roles same thing you click on next and here for Windows 2008 your web server will be IIS 7 so it will be just ticking on web server and install all the required feature you click on add required feature over here and click on next 
it's pretty simple but just need to be careful about the I mean the feature to 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 take since it's only uh, a basic conf configuration you don't need to select any other feature here just click on next and install that's all here as you can see the installation is over we'll close this window close it and now we'll assign same thing we'll assign a static IP so that will be easy to uh, to find uh, the web server and give his uh, fully qualified name to the DNS you make start run uh, ncpa.cpl right click properties and take IPv6 as we don't need uh, IPv4 properties use the following IP address we'll use 10 10 dot zero dot zero dot uh, let's take 10 default default gateway and we'll use the following DNS server 10 dot zero dot zero dot uh, one it was Okay, here. Okay, that's all. Close it. And that's all. Here we'll test. Uh, I mean, the web server with our default web page. Here we have ten dot zero dot zero dot ten. As you can see here, the default IIS 7 web page is there. So as soon as we receive this page on the, the web browser, it means that the, the web server is well configured. So let's go back now to the DNS server. Here we have configured the DNS, we have installed the DNS role and then we need to configure it. Let's go to forward lookup zone. Here we'll add a new zone so let's right click new zone the welcome window next we'll install a primary zone so let's go further here the zone name will be uh we'll choose any any name like uh, we'll take a simple name like example.com example.com the zone name next it will create a new file with this file name next do not allow dynamic updates so we'll be making this update manually let's finish so as you can see now a new zone has been created now we'll create a new host record you click on right click on uh, you expand forward lookup zone example.com is here right click new host a records uh, so here the name used parent domain no so we'll be typing www over here so it means that when we'll type uh, www.google.com the DNS will choose the, the corresponding IP address and then uh, will be connected to it. That's all. Add host. You click on OK. It's done. So, so now our DNS server has been configured. We'll now switch to the client side now. So let's assume that we have a Windows 7 client over here and we want to access to the website www.example.com So we'll just assign the IP address, static IP address also in the 10 dot range and cpa.cpl uh, 
properties some scripts ipv4 so let's take now 10 uh, let's take the ip address 10.0.0.5 as the client the default gateway let's leave it blank and the dns server here will try once by setting this setting the blank and we'll see the output here www dot example dot com where here you see nothing now we'll assign the IP address this is because we haven't assigned the, the we haven't set the DNS server IP address so we'll now set the IP and then see what happened see now over here right click properties and then we'll assign now the I DNS server IP address 10.0.0.1 the default gateway we don't require any uh, access to internet so no need to configure the default gateway is only we are working only in local network close okay that's all so now let's try www.example.com as you can see bingo it comes so here we can access the web server hope you learn a little bit from my tutorial thanks for watching